Right guys, good morning, we're at York Raceway this morning doing some drag racing. Now Josh has uh, just had a good suggestion, so we're getting pretty serious already and taking the spoiler off. We're going to be getting some serious times today. I've never done drag racing before, so no idea what I'm doing really. But, uh, it's like a run what you've run day today, so anyone can come and have a go. It's only 30 quid as well, it's 15 quid to get into the venue, and then 30 quid on top to go down the drag strip as many times as you want. Can't really argue with that. The car just passed scrutineering with flying colours. Somehow, got a few holes in my firewall that I thought it might be a bit funny about, but uh, nothing was said, so it's all good. It's really bright, it's really sunny. Uh, hope that means the track will dry out now. So it was a bit damp this morning, but I think it should dry out nice. The weather looks good today. So all good. Are we going to let the tyres down as well, Josh? Yeah. What are they at the minute? Like 28 or something. Uh, let's just go off now, yeah? Do that. Hey. Right, full drag spec DC too. We've uh, also put the shocks on full stiff at the back, apparently that should help. Right, so that's the kind of briefing, don't have a clue what I'm doing, but it's just explained to me some kind of staging and all this shit. So I'm in this class, C class. Um, up to two litres NA. I think everything's going to start kicking off soon. So Josh is going to do some videoing. We're we'll be going down the strip, and I've got the GoPro inside the car as well. Pretty excited, pretty nervous as well. What's this? Just the results from our storm, Alex. Thirteen six was the fastest in class. Thirteen six. Kids, what wins at class every time? If you don't win, then you shit. So the the winning time from the class that I'm in last time was thirteen six, which. Should be doable in case swap, right? Right hand lane's Tim Foster from Sheffield with the Honda Civic. Integra Type Park. Right, so the first time was all right, but the timing equipment didn't work for some reason, so I've got no time. But the uh, the eighth was nine seconds, so it probably wasn't that fast anyway. It, so hard to take off. Did you time it? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this for some reason like the car just spins up when you set off there. Josh says it's it's always like that, and it's just hard yeah. to set off fast. So I might I might try a second gear launch next time. See if that helps. <laughs> might do. See it, but we, sure. we, I forgot to put the in-car camera on as well, so... Oops. Right, we're about to go out for the second run. It's just started to rain. Hopefully it won't rain forever, it's pretty sunny everywhere else. Josh gonna take the GoPro. Right, so this is our second run. It's just started raining, as you can see. Doesn't look like it'll last, hopefully not. Uh, I've got wipers. There's a lot of rain here, but this side looks good. Hopefully, we'll be a, just a shower and then we'll be alright. Oh no, we're racing an FN2. Right, 
second session done. That was a 13 9. 38. 13 8. 13 8. It was spinning everywhere. Right, we've got to wait a little while now until we can go again. It's this uh, like pro class is going out. There's a Lexus LS400 going out, so we're going to have a look to see what it does. This uh, EG Turbo is really fast. It's from the northeast somewhere, I can't remember his name, but really fast. So we here last time. We'll get a video of him going down. So it's 12.4 for a V16 Turbo it's on road tyres. Pretty good. Looks a bit grippier out there now, I think. Right, we're just lining up for the uh, third run now. Uh, I've dropped my tyre pressures down to 15 psi. My uh, is it the 60 foot tyre, the first time you get was really bad on the second run there, so I'm going to try and still going to launch in second, but I'm going to try and just be a bit easier off the clutch. The start felt a bit steady then, but maybe that's good. We'll find out when we go down. It definitely felt more grippy then. I'm not sure whether that's because of the tyres being at lower pressure or maybe the track's got a bit hotter. Hopefully that was a better time. That run was a bit faster, we got a 13-3, which is the same as what Josh got last time. After Josh teaching me how to launch. Yeah, after Josh showed me how to launch properly. It does feel slow when you're doing it, but it works out at a faster time. Uh, we'll have another go at that and see if we can get any better, I guess. That was someone from Pontefract, apparently. They got potty frats. Right guys, this is fifth run. Um, I'm going to try first gear launch this time. Wasn't really feel the second gear launch the last time, so give it a go in first, see how we go on. <laughs> Have 
officially won something. I've got a trophy and everything. Look, trophy. Best in class. So yeah, we uh, we won the class, which is pretty cool. You don't get that on track days. Well, nice little trophy. Well, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty chuffed for myself. <laughs> I'm I'm liking that. I got a trophy. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to try and go back out and try and get a better time. I've still not got any of the fast runs on camera either, so that's a bit shit. But we'll have another go. Just waiting at the minute because uh, Subaru has dropped its oil on track. But we should be at another couple of runs in, hopefully. That last one was 13.4, but the internal camera didn't work. So I need, to, I need to get another one, another fast one with the internal camera, and that'll be good. But we've already won, so you know, I may as well just go home now. Right, the, uh, the track's opened up now, and we've got about 45 minutes left of action, but there's, there's hardly half the cars here that were here before, so we might get a couple of runs in. Josh might be willing to go and video some as well, maybe. maybe. Right, so obviously I missed the gear there. Um, to add insult to injury, that was my best 60 foot time yet as well. Fuck. Right guys, that's us done for this day's drag racing. Really enjoyed that. Uh, to say that cost me £45 for the full day. That was really good. We ended up doing about 9 or 10 runs in the end as well. So it's not bad value for money. I know a lot of people will bitch a bit about the track not being too grippy, but it's still a lot of fun. So our best time for the day was 13.2 at 106 miles per hour. Uh, which, for a first time, that's alright, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Main thing, of course, is that we beat Josh. That's all that matters. And thanks to Josh for uh, helping with the video in today as well. So I've got some clips of the car going down the strip as well as the in-car view. Bit gutted about that last run. The fastest uh, 60 foot and then fucking missed the gear. <laughs> oh well. Oh, by the time I'm posting this, we should be on 10,000 subscribers as well. So thanks to everyone for subscribing. And the, the channel's been growing lately. It's been really good. The road on the way out of this place is horrible. I'm going at like five miles per hour here behind a DC5 and yeah. But yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Everybody laughed when I put the mole grips on, but look, dual purpose. We need something to tighten these nuts up. It might not fit, does it fit? It'll fit. Mole grips. I can't move my hands. Oh, they don't fit. Hang on. Fucking do it. Yeah. yeah. That'll do.